everyone. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make bombs. I know, I know, it's all around YouTube. If you search up how to make bombs, there are probably way more videos, but it's a it's a useful tutorial. So first of all, we need to gather our resources. To we're gonna be making two bombs. So adjust the amount of resources if necessary, but note that the more bombs you want to make, the longer it takes just because one of the things you need to craft takes a really long time to extract. Anyways, our first thing for... you need three thorny vines per bomb. And we got lucky and found a patch of thorny vines right here, but often you won't get that lucky. And of course, we're going to be making two bombs, so six vines. That's, those are located in deep forest mines. You can find them in New Eden, the place where you... you start but i personally prefer this public mines place because it has less people taking up all the resources anyways the next resource you need to get is iron now you can find this in any mine and you get some to start but just generally just mine like actually go into the ground and mine and you'll find iron eventually. If you really don't want to mine, you can buy it cheap for cheap off of other players. But you need one iron per bomb, and we're making two bombs, so two iron. I'm not going to show how to get iron, but yeah. You also need some tree trunks of any kind. Well, except for mossy tree trunks. I don't know why those don't work. So we'll just... And you need three tree trunks per bomb. So I'm just going to gather some tree trunks really quickly. So six tree trunks for two bombs. And then you also need two sulfur and two mineral deposits. These are found in arctic mines, and you may have to look for a while, but eventually you'll see geysers. Uh, those mineral deposits and sulfur are located around geysers. So just look around, and there's a few geysers over there. And yep, the yellow stuff is the sulfur, and the blue stuff are the mineral deposits. Let's grab four of each, because we're making two bombs. And if this doesn't have enough, we can always look for another deposit. And yeah, we're gonna need more sulfur. But that should be sim relatively simple. Just look around and there's one right over there. Wow, three in one area. No, wait, four. That's really nice. I'm gonna leave some for other people to take, so we'll just take our four sulfur and four... Anyways, again, you need three thorny vines, one iron, two sulfur, two mineral deposits, and three tree trunks for this to work. You also need to have a crafting table, a forge, and an extractor. Extractors are harder to get than the other two, but you usually can buy them off of, the, off of other players. And also, they need oil to run. You can sometimes find these in arctic mines in big lakes of oil. Or again, you can buy off other players, but... You also need coal to fuel your forge, which, like iron, you can mine. Anyways. 
Yeah, I've got the iron on me. So, let's start making the bombs. Again, remember, I'm making two bombs. So, have the resources if you're only gonna make one, or quintuple the resources if you're making ten. So, let's toss the iron in the forge to make some refined iron, and toss the thorny vines in the extractor. These will take a while to extract, but you're gonna need them. Okay, then you have to toss the refined iron in the forge again to make refined iron balls. Now we just wait. Okay, our iron balls are done. So we toss the tree trunks we've collected. Six tree trunks for two bombs. Uh, Six tree trunks for two bombs. That will make some charcoal, which will be used in boom powder and the bomb itself. Now, once you have your charcoal, you can mix it with mineral deposits and sulfur to make boom powder. You're gonna need this Oh wait, did you need... Huh, I... You might... Let me see. Okay, anyways. Toss your sulfur mineral deposits and... Charcoal in a workbench and you can make boom powder. Toss the boom powder in with the fiber rope to make a fuse. And actually... Huh. Okay, you actually need to gather six thorny vines per single bomb, so sorry about the inconvenience. I'm just gonna get more thorny vines for you those of you who are following along and watching it and just doing it as I'm telling you what to do and haven't watched the whole video first, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can find some more thorny vines. Oh, there are some. How am I this blind? Anyways, let's gather six more thorny vines. Anyways, again, sorry for the inconvenience, but toss the thorny vines in the extractor, and now we just have to wait. Let's just toss, actually wait now. Anyways, if you have a harm wand, you can also make QB bombs. These explode, these damage players nearby and activate almost instantly, but they won't break blocks in your realm. This is great for PvP games or bomb games as they're called which basically involves putting a bunch of players in a small glass box. Uh, pretend that I'm in a glass box. And then they have to move around and dodge the bombs that are being placed on top of the glass. And the last survivor wins. Anyways, now that we've got- Now, you can buy, like, 
10 QB bombs in the Qubit store for 50 Qubits, but if you don't want to, then you can craft them using regular bombs. Anyways, let's toss in the fiber to make a fiber rope, and toss that in with the boom powder to make another fuse, and toss the fuse in, the boom powder and the charcoal, and the refined iron balls, and you get a bomb. And anyways, the crafting recipe for a bomb, for a QB bomb, just toss a bomb in the crafting table, and then take out your harm wand, and you can make a QB bomb. This uses a bit of durability from the harm wand, even though you didn't see it there. Or maybe it doesn't. That might just be for heal wands making healing blocks, but anyways, it... It could use durability, I don't know. But here's a demonstration of QB bombs. As you can see, very short cooldown and very deadly. And also, the only way to mine these blocks is with bombs, unless you've already mined them. If you've mined them with a bomb, then you can pick them up with your hands, or if someone gave them to you, you can pick them up with your hands. So that's really the whole, that's really the main reason you would have bombs, but they can also be used just for regular mining. Let me show you. So how bombs work is... They're one of the few blocks that can be placed in mines. You can't place dirt or anything, because you don't have permission, but you can place bombs. Now, a bomb, if you place it, will have a cooldown, and then explode. It's dead, so stay back. Stay away from it, but it will mine out some blocks. As you can see, that didn't mine very many, because it wasn't a very optimal bomb placement. But if I were to dig down, and then place a bomb there, it would get a lot of blocks. As you can see. So that's how you make bombs and how to use them. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, also, if you liked it, please like. If you disliked it, then go ahead and dislike. Thank you.